What is up gamers, RC Styles here, bringing you another week of Fortnite challenges. This is Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 3, Week 4 Challenges Overview. Let's get right into it here. So, for this week's Aquaman challenge, and it's the next to the last challenge until we unlock Aquaman himself, complete the swimming time trial at Dirty Docks. I assume this is just going to be like your normal standard swimming trial like we've had in the past. Week 4 challenges. We're going to search the chest at Salty Springs. We need to find 7 of those. We need to get eliminations at Holly Hedges. 3 of those. We need to search ammo boxes at Steamy Stacks. We need to find 7 of those yet again. Land at Frenzy Farm and finish top 25. We need to do that one time. Remember our, our uh, Team Rumble trick there, guys. Collect metal from Rickety Rig. We need to find 200 pieces. That's going to be relatively easy as well. Then we want to dance on camera for 10 seconds at Sweaty Sands. It looks like collect floating rings at Pleasant Park was initially supposed to be a week 4 challenge, but as you can see here, it still shows up that I had it completed under week 3, so maybe that's why it's complete under week 4. I am not quite entirely sure. We are customizing our umbrellas. This is where mine's coming along. I'm currently sitting at level 60. I'm kind of going to be going for like this Doctor Who-ish type umbrella. We'll see how well that works out in my favor. There's going to be probably style challenges now at this point as well. Uh, as you see, we have Aquaman here. We got challenges to do for him. Um, basically, it's going to be the same shit that we're doing in the Battle Pass. Shit for her, same shit that we do in the Battle Pass. This one for him, I'm not sure about the third one yet. Uh, complete any weekly challenge. We just need to do like one more of those and he is unlocked. And we have these characters. We need to complete challenges from week five to finish unlocking her. So that look forward to that next week. Complete any weekly challenges. We only have to do a few more of those as well and we'll have that portion unlocked. Kit, I finally got Kit, and I was looking forward to getting Kit because I like Meowsles. So, uh, we got to complete challenges from week 6 to get the white or ghost version of Kit. And so, we got about two weeks around the same time that Aquaman is going to be released, I believe. Um, no, actually, Aquaman's being released next week. So, the week after Aquaman's being released, we'll be able to get a hold of this. And this one, it looks like we got to continue to complete any weekly challenges to unlock that. Same for her. It looks like we got to complete week 7 challenges to finish unlocking that piece. And then, of course, continue completing weekly challenges for that as well. And the night, Eternal Night, reach Battle Pass level 100 for that one. Reach Battle Pass level 100 and complete challenges from week 9 for this. And finally, reach Battle Pass level 100 and complete any weekly challenges. The same, pretty much the same for every other character. I know there's probably at least one other character we have to unlock, maybe two, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll cover all that as we continue along this road of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. And as always, when I go to leave you, I'm going to leave you with stupid dances. Let's see what we have in the shop today. That's a very flexible Captain A right there, let me tell you. Oh, there you go, Deepest Trance. There's your favorite one, and it doesn't look any better on Cap. Oh shit, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I 
That just looks insane. Well, that's going to about do it for our overview for this week. And as usual, every week that I do an overview, you can expect a Fortnite fuckery later on tonight. I'm sure I'll be able to be joined with some of the boys from Gamers Purgatory alongside me with that. That's where we actually start going through the missions and completing them for each week. Until then, guys, I'll be seeing you.